This is an example of a simple industrial control process. A mixer motor is designed to operate when a preset pressure and temperature are both met or when a manual push button is pushed. This is the schematic of the circuit as it would look if it was to be a hardwired circuit. This is how the same circuit would look if it was to be implemented with a PLC program. The inputs on the left and the output on the right would still have hardwired connections between the PLC and the field devices. The program in the middle would be entered into a computer and then downloaded to the PLC. This simulation has been captured from the Logic Pro 500 software. This software is included with the Logic Pro PLC lab manual that supplements the textbook. The lab manual contains over 250 student lab exercises that can be programmed using this simulator or any PLC. When the input switch for I colon 1 slash 0, simulating the pressure switch is closed, the corresponding instruction in the ladder logic program is highlighted in yellow, indicating that there is logic continuity. When the input switch for I colon 1 slash 1, simulating the temperature switch is closed, the corresponding instruction in the ladder logic is highlighted. Also the output instruction, O colon 2 slash 0, representing the motor starter coil, is now highlighted, indicating that the output is energized because we have logic continuity from left to right. This is the logical AND of the pressure and temperature switch. When we open the temperature switch, the output is turned off. When we close the input switch for I colon 1 slash 2, simulating a manual push button, the motor starter coil output is immediately turned on. The motor starter coil is on when the pressure switch and the temperature switch are closed or when the manual push button is pushed. If it is necessary to modify the logic that determines when the motor starter coil will turn on, it is relatively simple to make the change with a PLC. With a hardwired relay control circuit, the technician would have to find the connections of the wires from the sensors and reconnect them in the new configuration. With the PLC, we can select the instruction and drag it to the new location, changing the logic of the circuit. This is the new circuit that we want to create. You would move the mouse over the temperature switch instruction and click and drag it and drop it in the new location, therefore changing the logic that turns on the motor starter coil. Then you would click on Download to simulate transferring the change program from the computer you were using to write the program to the memory of the PLC. You would then click on Run to change the PLC from the program mode to the run mode. Now closing switches causes the motor starter coil to be energized when the temperature switch and either the pressure switch or the manual push button is pushed.